All right, everyone, let's create our first pipeline. To get started, navigate to the Deals Overview page and click Add Pipeline. In the pop-up, give your pipeline a name and select a default currency. USD will be selected by default. Next, select how you want to assign your deals to other account users. You can automatically assign deals using round robin or distributed based on value. You can also disable automatic assignment. Next, you'll want to choose which user group will have permissions to access your pipeline. User groups are created on the users page under settings in your account and can be granted access to specific features such as campaigns, lists, contacts, deal CRM, and more. In this example, I'm going to select the sales group. This means that only users in the sales group can view and access this pipeline. Now, if you're using round robin or distributed based on value for automatic deal assignment, you get to decide which account user or users in the user group you selected will be assigned deals that are created in this pipeline. You can select them in the users dropdown. If you're choosing to disable automatic assignment, you'll need to assign a user manually when you create a deal. And if you're not sure what an account user is, they are an individual on your team who has been added to a user group. They can log into your active campaign account with their own login information and can manage various features. When finished configuring your pipeline, click save. Your new pipeline will load and you'll see three default stages. They are to contact, in contact, and follow up. To edit a stage, click the gear icon and click edit stage. In the stage options pop-up, you can edit the stage name, select a header color, adjust the width of the stage, choose how deals should be sorted in the stage, and configure how deal cards will appear in this stage. Once you finish editing your stage, click Save. Now let's create a new stage for this pipeline. To do that, click Add Stage at the top. Give the stage a name and give it a header color, then click Add Stage. The stage will automatically appear to the right of your pipeline, but you can move it by dragging it. Now, let's create our first deal for this pipeline. To do so, click New Deal at the top of the page. A new deal modal will appear. You'll need to provide a title for your deal and a value. Note that all deals are required to have a value. Next, you'll have the option to provide a short description. You can also determine which pipeline the deal should be in, the stage that it should go into, and which user should own the deal. Next, you'll need to enter the contact information for your lead. Type the lead's email address into the email address field. If they already exist in your account, their name will populate automatically. All leads or contacts are required to have an email address. Next, provide the lead's organization and phone number. When finished, click Add Deal. Once the deal is created, you'll see it in your pipeline and it will have an open status. As deals progress through your pipeline, they will move from left to right. You can advance a deal to a different stage by dragging it. Deals can also advance to a different stage through an automation action, but we won't get into that now. Lastly, when you close a deal, you'll want to change the status of that deal to either won or lost. By changing the status of an open deal to either won or lost, our platform will recognize when a deal is closed. This helps us provide you with correct information in the segment builder, in your deal reports, and with win probability calculations. To mark a deal as one, you'll want to drag it to the green one bar to the left, here, or to mark a deal as lost, drag it to the red lost bar to the right. 
But you know what? I think we won this deal.